Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes offer a broad range of power-related measurements with the power measurements option. This video is part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply related measurements. Here we show a simplified schematic of a switch mode power supply along with a list of measurements that can be performed on the power supply to test and characterize it. In this video demonstration we'll focus on performing a power efficiency measurement which is highlighted in green here. For our demonstration, we'll be using Keysight's Switch Mode Power Supply Demo Board. This is the same DUT that we use in many of our hands-on workshops around the world. The first task in making a power efficiency measurement is to probe the AC input with voltage and current probes, as well as probe the DC output with voltage and current probes. You'll typically need a high voltage di differential probe for the AC input, and you can typically use a standard 10 to 1 passive probe for the DC output. For both input and output current, however, clamp-on Hall Effect current probes are typically used. This particular power supply demo board has PCB current loop traces built right in for us to make it easy to probe the current. But when making current measurements on your particular DUT, you will probably need to create wire current loops. Let's start making measurements. I'll begin with a default setup. Then I'll go into the Analyze menu, which by the way there's a front panel key you can get there directly. I'll select the Power Application. Then if I select Analysis, you can see a list of all the measurements this oscilloscope can perform with the Power option. The one we're interested in is in efficiency efficiency, but if you're interested in any of these others, we have videos on all of these. So let's select efficiency. Next, I'll select signals, and this is gives me a list of uh, instructions on how to connect my probes. If I slide down, I see a very simplified diagram. It's basically input power versus output power. I've got to use a, since I have AC input, a differential active probe on the input, current probe on the input, a, in, for the output voltage, I'll just use a 10 to 1 passive probe, and then another right here, and then another current probe on the output. And uh, here's where I can define input voltage is channel 1, input current is channel 2, output voltage is channel 3, output voltage, output current is channel 4. At this point, I'll just press auto setup. It will automatically set up the AC input signals as well as the DC output signals get them all on screen and then turn on the power waveform which in this case is only the input power. To perform the efficiency measurement I simply press apply and the scope automatically turns on and measures input power in this case about three and a half watts output power about 2.7 watts and the efficiency, which is just the ratio of these two, of about 78%. Now there are various different types of efficiency you can perform, AC to DC, AC to AC, DC to AC, and DC to DC. We just performed a AC to DC, but let's assume we have an inverter which converts DC to AC, and we're going to use our, our same setup here and I'm going to redefine the inputs. So I'm going to say um, that the input, which I've really got connected, the output, voltage is channel 3, current is channel 4, output voltage is 1, output current is 2. Let's go through another auto setup. and then press apply and now you see the input and output power have flipped basically because I assigned them backwards in the efficiency of 128 percent which you, you know is not possible but uh, I don't have an inverter available for this demo so I just uh, flipped my DC to AC demo board around and performed the measurement that way. As mentioned at the beginning of this demonstration 
This short video was part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply related measurements. To learn more about InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes and how they can help you test and debug your power supplies, contact your local Keysight authorized distributor and ask for a demonstration. Thank you.